Upon completion of this unit, you'll be able to log in and out of the system, describe the structure of AIX commands, execute basic AIX commands, and use these commands to communicate with other users. Throughout this course, the More Information icon will be available on certain screens. When you see this icon, click it to read additional details related to the slide concept. Before any work can be done, you must access the system. A level of security is implemented to control access because AIX is designed as a multi-user system. Each system user has a username and associated password. To learn how to log in and off of the system and how to set the password, click each tab on the left. When the system has started and is ready for you to log in, the login prompt, typically the word login, is presented on the screen. At that point, you should enter your supplied username. If the username requires a password, the system will produce a similar prompt. While you are typing your password, it does not appear on the screen. If the password was set up by the system administrator, the first time that you log into the system, you'll be prompted to change your password. When logged in, you are presented with a prompt, normally a dollar sign, which is the shell's way of requesting a command. To terminate the session, you can either enter the exit or log out command, or press the Control D key combination by holding down the Control key while pressing the D key. This key combination generates the end of file or end of transmission character. The command log out only works if you're in your own login shell. When you log out, after a few seconds, a new login prompt will appear on the screen. Your password is the primary mechanism for ensuring security on an AIX system. All passwords are encrypted and cannot be decoded by other users. The password command is used to change your password and is an example of a simple command that can be entered at the shell prompt. The system will start the password process, which will prompt you for your old password first. The characters typed are not displayed on the screen. To prevent you from being locked out of the system, as the result of a simple typing error, the new password must be entered twice. Only if the two entries match is the new password accepted. When the password process completes, you are presented with the shell prompt requesting another command. When formatting a command, the order and separation of the command elements are important. The command or process name must come first. Spaces are used by the shell as separators on the command line and should not be placed within the command name. Command options should follow the command name, separated by a space, and preceded by a minus sign. Usually, multiple options can be grouped together immediately after a single minus sign or separated by spaces and each preceded by a minus sign. Options are typically used to modify the operation of the process. The arguments follow the command name, again separated by spaces. The order of the arguments will depend on the command. Let's look at some examples to ensure that all the concepts are clear.